Now we're going to look at how to use a smudge tool in Photoshop. The smudge tool is one of the most fun tools that there is in Photoshop. And I'll show you why. With your image open, navigate down to what usually it'll look like the blur tool. You have to click and hold that and then get down to where you see the finger and where it says smudge tool. Um, on a side note, you see these uh, shortcuts here. Um, those are keyboard shortcuts. If we were set to the blur tool and you want to save a little time, if you hold down uh, shift and then hit R, because R is its shortcut, I've now gotten to the smudge tool. So that's just holding down shift R and we've gotten to the smudge tool. Um, by default, its settings are usually um, set to 50% because um, that is pretty strong and I'll show you just by uh, We'll zoom in here and I, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna use it to blur these these yellow uh, parts of the image together. Um, we'll zoom in just a little bit closer here. This much tool and you can see it's actually carrying the pixels under the brush and smudging it in effect. And 50% is really strong. Um, we didn't, you know, just by dragging, you can see it's distorting. Um, a lot of times that's not the effect you really want to go for. Sometimes you have to bring the strength down to maybe, you know, 10, 15, and then just do subtle increments. Certainly when you set it to 100%, you're going to get a lot of smudge. <laughs> Too much. So, um, some of the parameters here that you've got. Um, in this example, we could, for this uh, type of effect we're going for, which is sort of like a lens zoom, I'm just gonna, you know, using um, the center of our figure's head here is sort of a drawing point. We'll click and drag out and just uh, kind of eyeballing it here. But the goal is to create kind of a lens blur effect using the smudge tool for this example. And you see it can blend really well with the other colors. And we've effectively made that, um, that lens blur effect very easily um, with our smudge tool. Now another uh, example of where it can come in handy is when you're trying to um, blend certain aspects. Um, like if I wanted to blend the hair instead of using like the clone stamp or uh, the, the blur tool, um, we could actually just turn this way down, lessen our brush size, and a quick way to merge colors is to use this uh, this smudge tool and keep adjusting your settings to what works best for the artwork that you're working on. And you can see I'm, I'm blending uh, the skin tones into that hair there, thereby erasing the frayed hair from the forehead and it softens the skin a little bit, but not noticeably. And we get a kind of disappearing effect. So rather than using the stamp tool, you could use this to remove blemishes. It gives it a little bit of a blur effect. Um, you can also use it um, on certain parts of the skin for wrinkles. And there we go. So just uh, make sure you're adjusting your strength and, um, and your brush size. And you can get a whole variety of effects with the smudge tool.